Hello, in this tic-tac-toe video, we're gonna show you how to unlock some achievements. We're gonna be using Game Center via the Sonar Cocos Helper API that we've created. It's free, it's open source, so feel free to check that out. We've already integrated it into our project very, very early on, all the links were provided to integrate it and to check it out. We're gonna be using Game Center, like I was saying, but a part of that, you can use the Amazon, Achievement stuff you can use Google Play services Google Play services would be recommended for Android game center for iOS But once you've got it set up it'll the process will be very similar and there's a bunch of other features like Facebook sharing Twitter sharing and Various other features and ads as well within that framework that we've created So if we go into our game click the achievements button We are shown our achievements assuming you're logged in I've already logged in and there's three achievements that we've added. Place your first piece. Well, I think you can guess what happens. When you place your first piece for the first time, it gives you 100 points. When you win for the first time, it gives you 100 points. And when you lose, we'll give you one point as well. And these are actual images which will show when you've unlocked one of them. There's no challenges added, but you can easily add them as well. You can add leaderboards as well. That's very easily done. It's all built into the Sonar Cocos Helper framework. So once you've got your setup, it's to unlock an achievement, literally one line of code for every achievement. So the first one, let's handle placing a piece for the first time. So if we scroll down and keep going down to the check and place piece, because that's where we're placing pieces, check and place piece. So this is actually where you would place the piece. So we're gonna add some code into here. We don't actually need to check if this is the first time or anything, because we've set the achievement to only be unlockable once, so you can't unlock it multiple times. Certain achievements, you might want to be unlockable multiple times, but this one isn't, all of them aren't actually. The game center stuff will handle all of that for you. So if you try and unlock it and it's already unlocked, it, ain't, it won't do anything. That's the fantastic thing about it. So Sonar Coco Helper, game center, and this really does reduce a whole heap of code. Let me just briefly show to you how much code this is reducing. There's like a lot of files here, but I'll just show you the main one where it's reducing it. So if we go to like game center, so like game center login, then we got like game center submitting scores, just showing leaderboard. You don't have to do any of this native code, including the unlock features as well. And it just reduces a lot of stuff for you. So, we go back to our game scene and for game center you want to do colon colon unlock achievement there's two types of achievements one they just unlock fully in its entirety then another where you just unlock a percentage of it something like that would be more progression based so if it was win 100 games you could do that but we've just got a regular achievement and then you put your achievement ID, which is a string. For us, we've named it TTT, aka tic-tac-toe, place first button, that's what it is called. And now the last two achievements, which are winning and losing for the first time. If you scroll down, this is where we've done the conditions for winning and losing after you've placed a piece. We're gonna do sonar. Cocos Helper, Game Center, colon, colon, Unlock Achievement. And in here, we're gonna put TTT, because the user has won, win. And that's it. Ooh, what, what's happened here? That's a bit weird. The IDE just <laughs> sort of decided to rearrange stuff in a weird way. And for the lose condition, I've named it TTT lose, but obviously whatever you name it, just make sure you put the correct name here. If you use in Google Play services, make sure you use the correct achievement methods. You can find them all in the Sonar Frameworks header to see what functionality is provided. There's a whole heap of functionality. Another thing to bear in mind is if let's say you've got Game Center for iOS, Google Play services for Android, you don't need to do checks here saying, oh, is, is the Android, is the iOS, you can just put the code and we do all the checks for you behind the scenes natively. So if you try and unlock an achievement for Game Center and you're on Android, it won't do anything. 
literally won't even try and call any other code beyond this sort of call. If you try and do an Android call on iOS, again, won't do anything. So you'll be all good to go. It won't crash or anything like that. We've made sure it's robust. So if you run this now, so this is just linking our project, should be built any time now. Build is successful. It's just gonna run it on our simulator and then we'll be able to unlock our achievements. So, first of all, I will show you, oh, it's just signed in, that's obviously always going to happen. If I just open the achievements, they are not unlocked at the moment. And if, let's say, I place a piece here, place your first piece, wow, you managed to place a piece. And I'm going to win. And that didn't unlock an achievement, which is weird. So, question is, why didn't it unlock an achievement? Ah, it's not capital I and uppercase N, it's lowercase i and lowercase n. So if I rerun this, And what's going to happen is when we place a piece again, it's going to un unlock the achievement. And the reason for that is I've set the game so it resets the achievements for all players when you first run it. That's just for debug purposes. Obviously, you wouldn't have that scenario, but that's just something to bear in mind when I place the first piece. It's not messed up. It's just I've just set it into a debug mode for this tutorial. So if I play, place a piece. Place your first piece, place another piece, and I've won, dude you are awesome. If I click on the achievements, and yeah, we have unlocked the different achievements. So if I click play, and I click press a button here I'm gonna lose this time you lose you suck so bad haha <laughs> if I go back you'll be able to see all three achievements now unlocked and these would obviously be added you know once you put it into release mode into your actual score for the player so that's it for achievements if you have any questions feel free to post them on my education platform sonarlearning.co.uk and if you want to communicate via Facebook, Twitter, comments, feel free. There will be a link to the GitHub page, which will show you all the source code. So feel free to check that out. In the next video, we're going to cover what to do next, because there's so many more features that you can add to it. And we're going to showcase, not showcase, we're going to mention some of them. And they're going to be as extra tasks. So I hope you have a great day and bye.